Some classes at Nanyang Primary School have been placed on home-based learning for two days after several reports of students falling sick. Doctors say they've also seen a rise in the number of children experiencing symptoms of fever, cold and cough. Tan Suwe finds out whether parents should be worried. Parents of Nanyang Primary School pupils received this advisory on Monday. It said the school has identified cases of fever, cough and sore throat since last Friday. And as a precaution, it encourages mask wearing in school this week. One parent says his seven-year-old daughter who studies there is on sick leave for three days after catching the virus. Sunday she had a son having a, having a sore throat as well. So we kept her at home on Monday. And subsequently on Monday, my younger one, who doesn't go to Nanyang, also started having a running nose. Mr Tan says he's not worried as the school has taken the necessary steps to ensure pupils are safe. It's placed some on home-based learning, disinfected school premises and reduced group activities. But there are concerns that it's not an isolated incident. The doctor said, actually, you know what, I don't think Nanyang's the only one. Uh, maybe they're just being overly cautious because, um, you know, he, over the last few days, he said he has seen a lot of sick kids with similar symptoms. Doctors say they've seen a 30% increase in the number of children seeking medical attention for common cold viruses over the last two weeks. But they say it's not alarming. Because of the pandemic, we are more aware of acute respiratory tract infections now, and I believe that parents are less inclined to allow their kids to go to school if they have an upper respiratory tract infection. I think before the pandemic, we are more used to classes where um, there are children who are sick, and we just take it as a matter of course. More adult patients also fell ill with acute respiratory infection in the first three weeks of this year, compared to the same period last year. This according to polyclinic numbers. This year, there are far fewer restrictions in terms of how many people can gather, uh, travel, as well as uh, mask, wearing, mask wearing, as you mentioned. So I think altogether, this creates a situation where um, respiratory viruses can spread more easily. CNA has contacted MOE to find out if other schools are experiencing more flu cases than usual.